So what we've got here today with the wave tank, we're going to demonstrate the different uh, defences that we can use. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to send our five waves down, we're going to have a look what happens. <laughs> and what we saw is that even though the waves were breaking, there was still enough energy for them to roll up over the dunes, in this case fill up our reservoir. But in real life, that would have meant that any houses or properties or communities behind the defence would have been completely flooded. Now we'll have a look how it goes. Now we did get still some overtopping, but it was a lot less than before. So our small wall has now turned into a really large wall. The crest height is the same, but all of the sand, all the sediment, all the beach in front of it has now gone. Now this time we saw larger waves coming in. That's because they weren't breaking on the beach. They've actually hit the wall under really impulsive conditions. All right, now we'll run our five waves through the tank. And what we've actually seen there is by putting the slope in front of the structure, we've actually made the overtopping worse. Where we thought the waves would break and dissipate their energy, they're actually hitting the structure, breaking right on it, and using it as a ramp to get over that, the defence itself. And this time, what we've seen is the waves are actually getting shot back out to sea. It's probably the same amount of wave energy going up but it's all returning out. So in terms of our safety and the, the inundation behind the defences, it's a lot better. Now this way, we can actually start to try and stop the wave energy before it hits our defence. So now again, we'll run our five waves. And even though the, the vertical wall before was one of the worst performing, by doing something offshore, we've now prevented all the wave overtopping. And the benefits of this has mean we've still got our beach, we've still got our area where we can go and enjoy, walk our dogs.